Hello and welcome. Sarah Klein here from Whole Health Lab. This is a 25 minute Ashtanga inspired short form of the practice. So what you'll need is your mat. You may want two blocks and we're gonna drop right in. So meet me at the top of the mat in Samastitihi. Join the necks of your big toes. Go ahead and lift all 10 toes. Spread across the ball of the foot. Lift the arch of the foot like you had a pencil sliding underneath it. Maintain that as you soften the toes back down. Now go ahead and pull up on the quadriceps. Break up the knees. Feel into the bandhas. The tailbone descends. The low belly draws in and up. Uriyana bandha. Allow your palms to touch. Press your palms into one another as you spread across the collarbones. You're welcome to close down your eyes. Begin Ujjayi Pranayama, audible, victorious breathing. The foundation of this practice resides between the walls of the breath. Yoga is the psychology of self-inquiry. So we do these postures, we use the tools and the techniques of the practice to drop us into the moment, the only place that yoga can truly be practiced. We don't do yoga to get good at yoga, but we do yoga to understand ourselves deeper, so we can live more authentically and more from our truth. We'll begin with the invocation, exhale with sound. As you inhale, imagine you are siphoning in prana. Vande guru nam charana vande sandara shita swatma sukha bode Nishaya se jungle kayamane, samsara hala hala, moha shantyai, abahu purushakaram, shanta the krasi dare nam, sahashtra shirsam spetam pradamami patanjalim. Inhale, grow tall through the crown of the head. Breathing with sound, exhale, arms along your side. Surya Namaskara A, inhale, sweep the arms out, melt palms, touch knees to the thumbs. Draw the low belly in and up, exhale, fold, bend the knees as much as you'd like. With an inhale, come halfway up. You're welcome to bring your hands to your shins. Reach your sternum out in front of you. Exhale, step, jump, or walk, Chaturanga Namasana. Inhale into your upward facing dog, spin the armpits forward, press through the tops of the feet. Using the low belly, exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. We will shorten the count for the shorter practice to three. So make each breath count as you inhale to fill and exhale to empty. Last exhale here, breathe down to the tip of the tailbone, bend the knees, look out in front of you, step, jump, or walk to the top of the mat. Feet hit, come halfway up. Exhale, fold, let the head relax into gravity. With an inhale, rise on up, draw your low belly in and up, stretch your ribs up and off the pelvis. And then imagine you are moving through water. Sama stitihi, think vertical thoughts. Round two of three, inhale, arms lift, palms touch. Exhale, gazing to the tip of the nose, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, paint the front line of your spine long. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Ordva Mukha Svanasana, slide your hips forward, lift your sternum. Glide on back, downward facing dog. Feel into the pads of your hands. Can you cast the weight to the root of the pointer finger? Maintain that and hide your armpits by externally rotating the joint. The outer edge of the armpit spins to the ground. 
Maintain that as you send the pelvis up, up and away from the ribs to create traction in the spine. Finish and exhale. Inhale, light like a feather. Arrive at the top of the mat, halfway lift when you get there. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise on up. Find the crest of the breath. Exhale, samastitihi equals stand, standing. Akam, inhale, last round. Dway, exhale. Trini, inhale. Shatori, exhale. Pancha, inhale. Shot, exhale. One, breathing with sound. Two. Three, sapta, inhale. Ashtam, exhale. Nava, inhale. Namastitihi, exhale. One round, Surya Namaskara Ki. Inhale, Utkatasana. Sink the hip low, lift through the skin of the chest. Exhale, ribs to quad, straighten the legs, Utkatasana. Inhale, Ardha Utkatasana, come halfway up. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale into your back bend, spread across the collarbone. Using the low belly, exhale, downward dog, step right. With an inhale, ride the breath up, veer the dross in the head. Find the crest of the breath, turn it into an exhale. Chaturanga Dandasana. Work to marry the movement with the breath so you can slip into the moving, breathing meditation of this practice. Left foot forward, veer the dross in the head. Exhale. Chaturanga Dandasana. Opposition between sternum and heels. Inhale, breathe up to the collarbones. Exhale, downward facing dog. Focus your eyes. Feel the breath. And let the mantra be inhale to fill. Exhale to empty. With an inhale, step jump or walk to the top of the mat. Feet hit halfway lift. Exhale, fold, let the head go. Practice surrender. Inhale, full circle, Utkatasana, low belly draws in and up, sternum lifts. Swim upstream, Samastitihi equals standing. Bringing your hands to your hips, jump your feet hip distance apart and fold. First two fingers are gonna loop your big toes. With an inhale, come halfway up. Stretch from pubis bone to sternum. Exhale. Pull it together. Give the head to gravity. Let it be like a weight to your spine. Meditate on the experience of the breath. Go ahead and finish and exhale, exploring the bitter end of that breath. Inhale, come halfway up, space from pubic bone to sternum. Exhale, hands to the hips, elbows up. Inhale, rise on up. Samastitihi equals standing. Utita Trikonasana, your right foot's gonna step back. Your right toes face the back of the mat, the left toes are at a 45 degree angle. You're welcome to bring the floor up to you by using a block. Inhale, arms lift. Lift the cylinder of the ribs up and off the pelvis, and then exhale, start to extend. Right hand touches somewhere, left arm flies. Now see if you can make less of the pose and more of the breath. Like you were giving the posture over to the intelligence of that inner rhythm. Allow your top hip to shift forward, the outer edge, of the bottom hip draws back. With that movement, you'll free up your lower back and breathe your side bodies equal in length. 
Find an exhale to stabilize through the feet and the legs. Tap into the bombas. Inhale, come on up. We switch sides. Exhale, come on into the pose. Focus your eyes to focus your mind. And remember that these postures are a container to understand ourselves deeper. Step into witness mode. Witness yourself free of judgment of stories of projections. Last breath. With an inhale, rise on up. We're going to revolve the triangle. So here we square off our hips to the back of the mat. With an inhale, lift your left arm up. Find a long line of energy from your left heel all the way up and through your left middle finger. Draw the low belly in and up. Reach forward like you're about to shake someone's hand. And then skip it. Left hand touches somewhere. Again, you're welcome to use that block or a big book. Modification is the right hand would be on the low back. Otherwise, we start to, with an inhale, stretch the front line of the spine, and then exhale, spin it open. Spread out between the toes. Stamp the big toe mound and the pinky toe mound down. Lift the arches of the feet like pencils were sliding underneath. Now pull up on the quads, pull up on the kneecaps. Knit the outer edge of the right hip back like you had a piece of floss there. Take one more big inhale up into the cavity of the chest. See what you can find. And then finish the exhale. Stabilize the low belly. Inhale, rise on up. Second side. Right arm lifts to find length. Reach forward with a long spine as you draw the outer edge of the left hip back. Hand touches somewhere. Feel free to bring your left hand to your low back or up to the sky. Now feel the play between stamping your right heel into the ground and driving the left hip back. From there, can you paint the front line of the spine long? Feel span across your collarbones. Last breath here. Finish and exhale, go deep with the breath. Inhale, rise on up. Feet parallel, arms to a T, samastitihi. Full breath here, inhale. Exhale. Step back right. Opening up to the long edge of the mat, bring the hands to your hips, drop your tailbone, lift your sternum with an inhale. Exhale, spill the pelvis forward, and as you do, lengthen the spine. Hands touch down, maybe on blocks. Inhale, come halfway up. Pull up on the quadriceps. And then exhale, keep that length in the spine and start to fold. Trasarita Parantanasana, A form. So here you have your wrists, if accessible, right underneath the elbows. And then zip the elbows towards one another so that they're shoulder distance apart. Feel the breath move through you. And remember that our priority is breath first, pose second. Finish and exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the hips, elbows up. Inhale, rise on up. Samastitihi. We're going to do two more standing postures before moving to the ground. We'll take a full breath here, inhale. Exhale. With your inhale, Utkatasana, drop the tailbone. Zip the front ribs into the back ribs like you had an imaginary corset. And then reach the sternum up into infinity. Feel into your feet, but find length through the crown of the head. One more breath here, let it count. Exhale, ribs to quads, straighten legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Link the movement with the breath. Inhale, slide the hips forward, lift the sternum. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right foot steps. Left heel turns in. Fear Badrasana A, warrior one. Challenge yourself to bring that right quad parallel to the mat as you stack the knee over the ankle. And then socketized femur comes into the pelvis as you knit the outer edge of the right hip back and lengthen through the front line of the spine like you are picking the ribs up and off of the pelvis. Finish an exhale, straighten your right knee, pivot around the second side. Relax into the breath. Can you slacken some of the tension that's naturally born of the effort? Give yourself permission to find ease and simplicity in the pose. Good, straighten your left leg, pivot around, hands on the ground, vinyasa. From downward facing dog, look through your hands, step, jump, or walk all the way through. Find your seat. Dandasana. The heel of the hand drops, low belly draws in and up, skin of the chest lifts, gaze grows steady. Take a big breath up into the cavity of the chest. Exhale, walk your hands about six inches behind you. You can put your hands on blocks for modification. You're gonna scoop your tailbone to the top of the mat. Purgo Tanasana, lift the hips. Gazing down the line of the nose if it feels right, you can let the head drop. Breath first, pose. Second. Exhale, release. Crossing the ankles, feel free to use blocks with an inhale. Take it up. Exhale, send it back. Chaturanga, inhale into your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look through your hands, step jump or walk all the way through, sit down. John Yu Shirshasana A. So your right heel is going to come into your left inner thigh. There is a twist happening here. So roll your right kidney around towards your left quad as you fold. Anchor the right sitting bone into the ground. And then take a big breath up into the cavity of the chest. Imagine that you're going to loop your upper lip around your big toe. Inhale, straighten the elbows, come halfway up. Exhale, release. Marichyasana C, right knee bends up to the sky. Right hand kicks hands behind you. Take an inhale to lift the wrists up and off the pelvis, and then exhale, start to spin it open. As your sternum reaches to the back of the mat, can the outer edge of your right hip reach forward? If it's accessible, try a bind. Keep the bind, inhale, look forward. Exhale, release, cross the ankles. Inhale, up, vinyasa. From downward dog, look through your hands, second side. John Yu, Shirshasana A, left heel comes in, and we fold. Pull up on the right quad. Reach out through the sternum. See if you can let the breath do the pose. Last exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, straighten your elbows. Exhale, release. Marty Chiasana C, left knee to the sky. Kick stand behind you. Take a huge exhale to set up the pose. Inhale, extend to find length. And then exhale, ring it clean. Can you allow this to be moving, breathing, 
meditation that it is. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, release. Cross the ankles. Inhale, up. Vinyasa. From downward facing dog, look for your hands. Step, jump forward. Fly through. Lie down. So it's Yogi's choice here. If you'd like to come up into Urdhva Dhanurasana, you're welcome to. Or bridge set to Banda Sarvangasana. So the toes face forward. With an inhale, lift the hips. Walk the shoulders onto the back. Okay, stay here for five. If you feel ready for Urdhva Dhanurasana, hands come by the ears. Begin on the crown of the head, zip the elbows towards one another. So wrists and elbows align. Elbows are shoulder distance apart. Stamping through the heels. Inhale, take it up. Focus your gaze. Focus your breath. Breath first, pose second. Exhale, come on down. Bring your knees into your chest. Open your arms out to a T, supine twist, knees to the right, gaze to the left. Feel the residue from the back bend. Switch it out. Give yourself permission to drop in. Use the exhale to support that. Inhale. Knees into chest. Give them a squeeze. Rock up. Paschimottanasana. Stretch up through your legs. Here you might want to support your hips by placing a block or a blanket or a cushion underneath you. What we want to do is feel the pelvis spill and keep the length of the spine. So the counter pose is in the pose. Here we're in a forward fold. The counter pose is the back bend. Can you feel span across the collarbones? A lift in the skin of the chest. Spill your inner thighs to the ground. Stamp your quads down. Go deep with your exhales. Slow the system to metabolize the experience. Allow the body to shift into a parasympathetic state where we rest, digest, and restore. And in that state, all of the wellness systems of the body can work. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. From here, take a comfortable cross-legged position, whatever that means for you. Again, that might be sliding something underneath your hips to elevate your hips. You can grab opposite elbows behind you. If it's in your practice, yogi mudrasana, grab those toes. Take a big inhale as you lengthen the front line of the spine. And then exhale, fold. This is a great place to place a block. So you can bring the floor up to meet you. Challenge yourself, keep your eyes open and focus on the line of the nose. Meditate on the breath. Allow it to, in a sense, sing you like a lullaby into the moment. The only place yoga can be practiced. Inhale, rise on up, stretch your arms. Thumb and point your finger, touch. Lift the sternum. Steady the gaze. Take the seat as the witness. Observing the natural tendency of the mind, which is turbulent. 
See if you can give yourself a little cushion from the storyline, a little space. Observing without getting pulled into it. From here, plant the hands, take it up. Five, four, lift the knees, draw the low belly in and up. Two, one, right into Shavasana we go. Beautiful practice. Tuck yourself in. Release all effort of the breath and the bandhas. Feel the body get heavy as it drops. We want to make sure that we shift the nervous system into that parasympathetic state. So allow the low belly to do the breathing. Feel the low belly as it lifts and it lowers. We want to stay here until we can find that at minimal. Like you're welcome to stay, rest, and restore. When you feel ready, you can roll to the right. Let your head come up last as you find your seat. Keep your eyes closed. We'll seal in our practice with an OM and three Shantis. Exhale. Inhale. Oh. Shanti. 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 Thank yourself for practicing. Namaskar. Thanks for joining. Please leave a comment below. I'm happy to field any questions. Um, and I hope that allows you to feel balanced, restored, and ready to enjoy the rest of your day. Namaste.